Hello students, welcome back. Let us start with exercise 12.2 of chapter 12, Heron's formula. The first question, it's been given that in quadrilateral A, B, C, D, angle C is 90 degrees and the respective lengths are given here. Okay, you need to find the area of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. So how do you find the area of quadrilaterals? We learned that we are going to split the quadrilateral into two, equal, two triangles and find the area. So how do we split the quadrilateral by just joining any diagonal? In this case it would be feasible to draw diagonal BD because you will get a right angle triangle here so the right angle triangle C, CBD you can find the area using half into base into height and ABD you can find through Heron's formula and let's see if you join a, uh, the diagonal AC here you will have to first find you will need the length AC which would be very difficult to find because except for angle C no other angle is given to be 90 degrees so when you divide this quadrilateral using AC then you won't have any way to find the length of AC so what we will do is we will do this construction of joining BD now obviously you can find the area of this triangle using half into base into height this triangle through Heron's formula by finding length BD using Pythagoras uh, theorem for triangle DCB cool so let's go ahead and do uh, write the solution so first the construction I'll say draw diagonal BD so I'll say in right angled triangle C DCB I have DB square is equal to DC square plus BC square through Pythagoras theorem right so dc is given to be how much 5 meters so 5 square and bc is 12 so 12 square so this would be 25 plus 144 which would be 169 db square so obviously db would be under root of 169 so we know that the square root of 169 is 13 so db is 13 meters i'll mark this as 1 Now we'll find the area of triangle DCB. Area of triangle DCB is equal to half into base into height. So B into H for base and height respectively, which is half into base is BC into height, which is DC. So which is half into base. Base is 12 and height is 5. So 2 1s are 2, 2 6s are 12, 6 5s are 35. So your area of triangle DCB is equal to uh, 6 5s are 30, not 35, 30 meters square. Right? I'll mark this as Roman number 1. Now to find area of the other triangle that is triangle ADB, you need the semi perimeters and the three sides. We have the three sides because two are given and the third one we found out here. We need to find the semi perimeter. So I'll say semi perimeter of triangle ADB is equal to AD plus DB plus AB divided by 2. So AD is how much? AD is given as 8, DB is 13 through 1, and AB is how much? It's 9. So 9 plus 13 is 22, 22 plus 8 is 30 and this is divided by 2. So 30 divided by 2 which is 15, correct? So semi perimeter of triangle ADB is equal to 15 meters. Please note the units for square, for the triangle we are writing meter square and for the perimeter we are writing meters. I'm sorry, for area we are writing meter square and for the semi perimeter or the perimeter we are just going to write meter and not meter square. Okay, so always the areas is in unit square or square units. Let's mark this as small case 1. Now, if you take a look at your triangle ADB, if you take a look at your triangle ADB, this is A, this is D and this is B. 
the side opposite A will be small a, the side opposite B will be small b and side opposite D will be small d, right? So let's find the area of triangle A, D, B. This is going to be under root of, through Heron's formula, S into S minus A, S minus B and S minus D. So this is equal to under root of, side is how much? Uh, sorry, your semi-perimeter is how much? 15. So 15 into 15 minus A. A is this side. So this side we have found it to be db which is 13 meters so 15 minus 13 then 15 minus b so this is the side b which is 8 meters so 15 minus 8 and 15 minus d so which is the other side left this is d which is 9 meters so this is going to be equal to 15 15 minus 13 is 2 15 minus 8 is 7 and 15 minus 9 is 6, right? Let's go ahead and find the square root. This can be written as 5 into 3 into 2 into 7 into 3 into 2, right? So this would be, you have a single 5 here, so uh, we cannot really find the square root. Then you have a 3 and 3, so 3 comes out, you have 2 and 2, so 2 comes out. Again, 7 is all by itself. So we'll write in, in within the square root 5 into 7. So this would be 6 root 7 meter square. 6, I'm sorry, this would be 5 7 the 35. So 6 root 35 meter square. Right? So let's find the square root of 35. I'll keep 35 and I will mark it. Remember, we go marking as double pairings. And then I will take a number that is perfect square close to 35 or less than or equal to 35. See, you have 5 5s are 25 and 6 6 are 36. If this would have been 36, easily we would, we would have got the square root as 6. But now this is 35, so I'll take 5. 5s are 25. So I get 10 here. I'm going to add this 5, this 5 over here. So I get 10. Now, we have a remainder over here, so we are just going to put a decimal point and keep adding zeros, right? And we will pair them up. So 2, 2 and 2 will come down one after the other simultaneously. So now I'm bringing down these two zeros. So now I have one zero, I need to multiply one zero and another digit over here. So whatever digit I take over here, I will have to multiply it and this with the same number and get a number here which is less than 1000. So if you see, if I take 105 into 5, this will give me 50, uh, sorry, 25 and 5. So 525 is very less. Let's go with something more. 109 into 9. 9 nines are 81 and 9 ones are 9. So 109 into 9 will be a good one. See, if I take 109 into 9, this is the maximum that you can take, 9, right? So 109 into, so here I will put a decimal because we have added these, these zeros after the decimal. So I get 5.9 and I will add the 9 here. So I get uh, 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 80, 118 and this would be 981. So this would be 9, 1 and nothing. So I will bring down this 0 now. So two zeros here. Also, now 118 into what would give me 1900? Something less than 1900. So if I take 1182 into 2, obviously, see over here, I'm going to get something in 2s. But my number here is in 1s, right? So I'm going to take 1181 into 1. So into 1 will give me 1181. So this would be 1182 and this would be 9, 0 and okay, so my remainder here is 9. So we have two places after the decimal.
So we have two places after the decimal over here. Let's just uh, recalculate this. This would be 90. Okay. So this is going to be 6 into 5.91. So I hope you understood how to find the square root. So I'm going to multiply 6 into 5.91. So 5.91 into 6 will give me 6 ones are 6, 6 nines are 54, 6 fives are 30 and plus 5, 35. So 35.46 which is equal to 35.46 meter square. This is your area of triangle A. We'll write it in the next line. So I'm erasing this section for now. Therefore, I have area of triangle ADB is equal to 35.46 meter square. And I will mark this as 2. Right? So now the area of my quadrilateral is the sum of these two triangles. Just one moment. Um, area of triangle DCB and area of triangle ADB, right? So area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle DCB plus area of triangle ADB. So area of your triangle DCB was here that is 30 meter square so 30 plus 35.46 and I'll say from Roman numbers 1 and 2. So adding these up what do I get? 65.46 meter square. This is going to be your answer. Area of quadrilateral A, B, C, D is 65.46 meters square. So please take a look at the solution. I'll just mark this as 2 because we already have a 1 over here. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.